Okay, good morning. Welcome to Math 467. Family Math 467. So yesterday we attended uh, Henry Sackerman's lecture at MIT, and it was actually pretty cool. Can you can you tell me uh, one thing you liked about it? I liked how he showed the the, four, the polygons progressing from third to fourth third dimension to the fourth dimension. Yeah, yeah. He talked a lot about even starting in two dimensions. That's yeah. where the polygons were. And then up to three dimensions were the polytopes. Yeah. Well, polytopes are higher dimensional ones. It was, that was really neat. So he showed lots of cool pictures and even passed around some shadows of polytopes. What was your, uh, your favorite part? Um, the second hypercube. The second hypercube. Yeah, they call it, it's funny. They call it what? Hyper, hypercube B? Yeah. So a friend of his had, had made a really cool 3D print, a, a different version, not, not one that I had ever seen before of a shadow of a hypercube. I actually ordered it off of Shapeways. So, um, all right, so today we're going to, our project's going to be one of the things that he was talking about, about shadows. And we're not going to do shadows of four-dimensional objects. We're going to do shadows of three-dimensional objects. So we have a little piece of glass, uh, and we built a cube and a tetrahedron. So let's look at some shadows of the tetrahedron first. So here's one that's about overhead. Okay. Are those shown up okay on camera? Yeah. All right, good. Then you can sort of move it down this face. So we, we and like if like you put it here, it looks just like a triangle. Oh, interesting. Then you sort of distort mm, it. That kind of stretches it. And when you're here, you can barely see it. Okay. Now we're gonna have to stick to sh to shadows that we I guess stay reasonably close by, but mm -hmm. that's all right. Well, maybe we won't. Okay. So make make a shadow, anyone anyone that you like. So here's this one. Let's try the overhead one. The overhead one. Okay. Now, um, let me ask you some questions about this. If I only showed you the shadow, yeah. so you didn't see the shape, but you only saw the shadow, do you think you could tell what three-dimensional shape that was coming from? Well, there's also another shape that would make it. Okay. If you put like a triangle and then the three lines go into the middle, but it would be two-dimensional. You could make ah. the two-dimensional version. So like a two-dimensional version. Yeah. So do you think you could tell what shape the shadow comes from? No. There's At possible. least not from one shadow. Yeah, because also, possible. also you could make, I'm just going to stop this for a second, you can make a tetrahedron, double tetrahedron. What do you mean a double tetrahedron? So you put a tetrahedron on the bottom face. Uh-huh. And straining from directly overhead, that would make the exact same shadow. Oh, wow! That's a great that's a great observation. Okay. Yeah. Um. So I want you to make one where where like the top ball comes like out here, say. Okay, sure. just just a little bit out. This is hard to steer. Yeah, actually, let your brother let your brother do it. You've been you've been steering for a little bit. So it goes like out here. Is that is this on camera? Um, yes. Okay, so let me ask you some questions about this. Um, if two lines cross in the shadow, does that mean they cross in the object? No. No. It doesn't mean they intersect. Why not? Why, well, do, you like, think, why do you think that happens? Because it's just a, you're messing it up because you're pro you have to project it to a lower dimension. Okay. So, uh, you can see on the shadow that this line, there's this line and this line intersecting. Mm -hmm. But they, you, they clearly don't intersect. They clearly don't intersect, okay. Um, and here's a challenge one, although he, he actually showed some, some pictures kind of like this yesterday. When lines come together, do you think they always come together in the shadow? Well, like on the zone balls? Yeah. Well, yeah. Because you have to project the corners, and then you would see the corners as like the end points. I guess they're kind of max, like blown up with the zone balls, and they would always come together. What do you think? Because it's kind of obvious here, you aren't going to be able to create a new zone ball just by projecting it. Well, I, I see something. But I'm asking if the lines, sorry, sorry, if the lines in the actual shape come together, do they come together in the shadow? Oh, yes. You can see the four points where they come together. Okay. Well, if I 
distort the shadow a little bit and try to put it like this. You know, the these lines, this these two set of lines don't come together. Which, which two set of lines don't come together? So this V, the upside down V, and then the other upside down V. If I distort the shadow like this, it looks like there's just one set of lines. Yeah, but this the um, so you don't see this. Yeah, you line. Don't see you it. don't see this in the shadow, but there's still the things that are coming together are still coming together in the shadow. Yeah. Mm -hmm. oh. So okay, well let's look at a cube now. Okay. Okay, for our next part.